Hi, I'm Laurel Dearborn. I graduated in 2014 from Sequoia High School, and right now I am attending the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, um, where I am studying Spanish and history. I, a lot of the, the first thing that people ask me when I tell them that I go to Michigan is how I deal with the weather coming from California, going to what a lot of people like to say, Antarctica. Um, and that's a very funny question to me um, because, yeah, I did go from kind of what we sometimes like to call the promised land, the climate best by government test, Redwood City, and I chose to go far, far away, 2,500 miles to be exact. And um, it wasn't just the weather that I had to adjust to. The Midwest is very different um, in terms of um, culture and the way that people act and their value system and everything like that, but it was very refreshing. And um, one of the best decisions I ever made was to leave California for college. So I think that if you have the option, um, even though it can be very scary and daunting to think about um, going on a plane <laughs> to leave for college and kind of having this and I'll be all, I'm here for four months and then I return, maybe or may not come back for Thanksgiving, that sort of thing of your first semester at college can be really scary. Um, but I think that if you do have the opportunity to leave, I think that it is um, incredibly valuable and can be very life-changing as it has been for me. Um, I started out, let me think, first I knew no one when I went to Michigan, which can be very scary and daunting. Not only am I away from my very close-knit family that I grew up with and my younger brother that still goes here, but um, I, no one from Sequoia had ever gone to Michigan before me. And um, yeah, I didn't know anyone from other schools going. So it was very much me going out into the world, trying to figure out what was gonna happen um, and hoping praying that Sequoia prepared me well and that I wasn't going to drown. And I'm not gonna lie, the first couple weeks were hard once my parents left and I was there all alone in Ann Arbor um, at a big school, Michigan's really big. We have um, 4,500 students, including graduate students. And um, in a kind of suburban town, um, it's kind of like Redwood City actually. Um, very liberal, fun, everyone wears Birkenstocks, kind of like here, um, which is kind of not, not super common for the Midwest. <laughs> it's mostly, you know, when you think about it, you think of cowboy boots and everything like that and country music, but, um, <laughs> and football, which is one of the reasons why I chose Michigan. But, um, I mean, it's, you're in this land knowing no one and it can be very scary and, um, I wasn't necessarily prepared for that when my family left and um, I didn't start class for a couple more days. I wasn't really into the whole party scene, um, welcome week thing. So I didn't really know where I fit in, but um, once I found my people, which were people from my hall and um, people in classes and stuff, life started to change and I really saw Michigan as my home. Um, a lot of people also ask me where and why I chose Michigan. I mean, it's not, it's getting more common that people from California are going there, but uh, definitely not a school that you hear all the time. Mostly it's a lot of the UCs and people staying here. So um, I am a big sports person, love sports. Um, that was a lot of what my high school experience was about, documenting sports, watching sports, playing sports. And I wanted a school that had that kind of tradition and spirit and focus on sports. Um, but I also wanted to be academically challenged and to be in a rigorous environment. And Michigan was a really good combination of both of those for me. It is a school that bleeds maize and blue. Um, Everyone loves, loves the Wolverines, and that was really attractive to me, a school where people not only were challenging themselves academically, going to class, actually going to class, and um, studying hard things and not just taking the easy path, um, and going and choosing to go into office hours and do that kind of thing, but also on the weekends to wake up early and stand in line for seven hours outside of a um, really cold, <laughs> in the cold, um, waiting to get into a basketball game. That's the kind of school I wanted where people were just so on fire.